Hello, my name is John Tate, and I'm an Executive Vice President for Systematic Development Group. We manufacture the device that healthcare organizations I will be talking to you about use to physically transfer data in a secure and HIPAA-compliant way. And towards the end, I'll show you something that you all will be the very first to see outside of our company. We'll start with the George E. Wallen VA Medical Center in beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. Around this time of year, the staff in the cardiac unit like to throw their skis in the car and head east about 30 miles to Park City, where they can take part in the nighttime skiing specials on their favorite trails. Nothing like gliding through the fresh powder on a cool, crisp, moonlight evening, warm enough from time to time with some hot chocolate in the lodge. At least that's what they'd like to do, but they can't. They can't because they're in the office filing medical records that they didn't get the opportunity to file earlier in the day. I know you might find this hard to believe, but they would actually rather be skiing with their families. Well, let's pretend they use this flash drive to offload the data from that cardiac monitor. Well, this flash drive would actually cost the VA center just a hair more. This is now a $1.5 million flash drive. If they offloaded patient records to a portable storage device, not in encrypted format, and if it were lost, federal HIPAA penalties would be about $1.5 million per occurrence. The High Tech Act, which went into effect last year, went into even more detail into these security requirements. But you know what? They might even be getting off easy with a $1.5 million flash drive. The Ponymon Institute estimates that the total cost of a data breach, including notifying the patients and purchasing credit monitoring for each of them and investigating the issue, at about $214 per record. Do you know how many records can fit on this tiny little 8 gigabyte flash drive? Well, it depends on the format, of course, and the amount of data per record, but a good estimate is 9 million records. Well, my helping hand here hopefully will perform this calculation for me. 9 million records times $214 per record. It's $1.92 billion. It's a $1.92 billion flash drive. Sounds like a lot definitely does to me but that might even be cheap last year there were tapes stolen from a car that contained four million veterans health records four million records can easily be stored in this flash drive and there's now a class action lawsuit against the DOD and TRICARE Health Management for 4.9 billion dollars so back to the Georgie Wallen VA Medical Center in Salt Lake City Dr. Saltzman and the IT staff there said, no, thank you. We don't think we'll use a standard flash drive to offload data. That was a very smart move. They did some investigating and found that there are such things as hardware encrypted flash drives. This means that when the data is saved to a flash drive, the hardware within the flash drive automatically encrypts the data. This means that if a flash drive were lost, nobody could access the data because it would be scrambled, encrypted. The HIPAA and high-tech regulations state that if a drive is properly encrypted, then you have safe harbor and you won't be fined for that data breach. So that's great. St. Jude Rep went ahead and purchased a hardware encrypted flash drive and he brought it to the IT staff, pretty excited to get it passed by the IT staff so they could then test it out on their cardiac monitor. So he hands it to the IT guy. The IT guy takes it, checks it out, and says, it's FIPS compliant, right? The St. Jude rep says, FIPS, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I know it's encrypted, and that's what HIPAA wants. Well, the IT guy just shook his head slowly and said, all federal agencies are required to only use encrypted devices that are FIPS 140-2 certified. The VA center is a federal agency, and it does require that FIPS certification. Maybe there was a FIPS certified hardware encrypted flash drive that also authenticated in hardware and didn't need software to enter a password. That is when he came upon the Lockit Secure Flash Drive. You see it has a pin pad on the flash drive itself. So not only is the data that's stored on Lockit encrypted using the internal hardware, but even the password or pin entry is handled on the hardware. This makes the flash drive just as flexible as a typical USB flash drive, yet it has an extremely high level of security. So when the locket arrived, the St. Jude rep got the blessing from the IT staff. It's FIP certified, it's HIPAA compliant. 
the cost would only be about ninety dollars for this eight gigabyte drive, not one point five million dollars or four point nine billion dollars. But now the ultimate test. He entered the seven digit pin, got the green unlocked LED, and then inserted it into the cardiac monitor. He was able to successfully then transfer that data directly onto Lockett. So high fives and smiles were had by all. No more reams of paper wasted every day. No more staying late, filing these records, and of course, that meant maybe hitting the evening slopes. GE Healthcare found that Lockett also works with transferring data from really big equipment. The field service engineers carry a Lockett with them and insert it into their imaging equipment to access data about the equipment. Once again, this is not a standard operating system, so other encrypted flash drives won't work. But due to Lockett's platform independence, it works great. So they take the data from the CT scanner and then access the data from their computers back in the office. Lockett not only works on the medical equipment, but of course it works great with computers running Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Kaiser Permanente has a company-wide application that encrypts their hard drives. And it'll also encrypt the data that's stored to a USB flash drive. And this works okay if you're planning on using the flash drive on the network and only within supported operating systems of the encryption software. But this just always isn't the case. Sometimes they use Linux computers, sometimes they need to access data when they're traveling. Nowadays, there's more types of operating systems in use than ever before. Kaiser has controls on their ports so that only certain products can be used within their USB ports. This is called port management, and there are many providers of this type of software that runs on the networks. The IT staff then added Locket to the whitelist of products that are allowed. So USB is the standard of communication between devices, even things you might not think of. Kaiser Health Education training personnel travel with projectors and access presentation materials from USB flash drives because now even projectors come with USB ports. Well, they couldn't use their other encrypted flash drives because, once again, there's no way to enter a software-based password. Now they can just plug Locket into the back of those projectors and access their presentation materials. The Johnson & Johnson Division Atomist was pretty inventive in finding a way to reduce their paper and increase their level of security. Their field reps used to make loads of copies of reports in physicians' offices. Well, not anymore. Each of the field reps now has one of these. They've got an Iris Scan Anywhere portable scanner. And guess what's on the back of it? Yep, USB port. Now, while in the office, the rep simply scans the records and they go directly onto Locket. Completely HIPAA compliant, paperless, and more secure than their previous process. So in conclusion, there are a few things we know. One, health records need to be secured or the liability is really hefty. Two, sometimes files need to be physically transported, either from medical devices or medical equipment, office equipment, PCs, tablets, smartphones. Three, USB is the standard for physical data connection and transfer. So, you should consider one of these. A lock and secure flash drive. Lock and secure flash drive. A lock and secure flash drive.